Hi, this is Heidi Hudson, the Dog Reporter. I'm at Crust 2009, and I have found this fantastic new charity I've been waiting to meet, and it's so great that you're here at Crufts. Fantastic. Thank you for coming along to see us. You are Penn, and I understand that you wrote this book, and you are here supporting a, a wonderful and new dog charity. Yeah, the, uh, the dog charity is called Now's Our Dogs, um, and it was formed from when I was in Afghanistan uh, nearly two years ago now. Um, and I befriended this little dog here, I should say, she sort of befriended me. Oh, this is young Tally, and I'll just stick her down. Um, and Tally actually, she crawled under the gate where we were in the compound in the town of Nauzad, uh, dragging her puppies in one at a time. So she'd bring a puppy in, drop the puppy off, crawl back under the gate, and the gate was only about that much of a gap underneath it, and then she'd come back in, she did that six times. Uh, so when obviously she was then sat there with her puppies, yeah, there's nothing we could do but obviously start to look after her. Um, and when our time came to leave Afghanistan and come back to the UK, we couldn't leave her behind, so we then made an attempt to rescue her to get her out of Afghanistan and back to the UK. And how difficult was it to get her from Afghanistan back to the UK? Uh, we couldn't use any military support, um, so it all had to be using local Afghanis um, and a little bit of uh, imagination to actually get them smuggled through, obviously, Taliban territory. Um, all the way to obviously uh, the border so we could then get them flown back to the UK and then obviously six months of quarantine. Uh, but the charity from there, it sort of, that was all done before the charity was formed um, and as soon as we'd done it once, lots of soldiers then said to us, well, we're actually looking after a dog, um, how do we do it? Um, and so that's how the charity started. And how many soldiers are involved with the charity? Um, at the current at the moment, we've got about sort of 10 different rescues that are ongoing. I mean, it's not just British soldiers, we've got Americans, Canadians, uh, we've even got a Dutch Marine who's rescued a dog. Um, and obviously the military doesn't support us because obviously there's no mascot rule. Um, for obvious reasons, yeah, there's a lot of disease out there. I mean, it does detract a little bit from obviously the job they're trying to do. But in some places, the soldiers don't have a lot to do themselves, so they're sat around. And the dogs take a little bit of, you know, the, the, the pressure away from them just by sitting there you know, and helping the dog out. There, you got Tally, and I see another dog here. What's the other dog? Um, I'll just grab hold of the other dog to show it. Come here, little buddy. <gasps> this is actually Little Helmand. Um, and Little Helmand's actually on the front cover of the book. He's the, uh, the puppy on the right-hand side of the book, and he's actually one of Tally's puppies. Aww. Um, and he's, actually, he's the only one out of the whole litter who actually survived. Um, the rest was struck down with the parvo virus because obviously there's a lot of disease in Afghanistan. Come on in, fella, get down. There you go. Now, are both of these dogs now honed by yourself? Um, this little fellow actually lives on a farm down in the West Country, uh, but I have Tally, the um, little white one. I've also got this one behind you, um, which is Nauzad. Um, and he was a dog that we broke up a dog fight. Um, and now as I was and he then adopted me sort of after that. So we ended up looking after five adult dogs and 14 puppies. And um, where did the name Nauzad come from? Uh, Nauzad's the town that we were stationed in. Um, it's in a very remote part of Afghanistan. It's just in uh, the Helmand province by the mountains, just on the edge of the mountains. Um, so Nauzad himself, the dog, was battered and bruised, obviously being in the dog fights. That's why we called him Nauzad, and that's where the charities come from. Now let's talk about your book. It's a brand new book, I believe. Yeah, it's um, just been published on the 4th of February this year. Um, and lots of people kept asking me about, you know, how do you get the dogs out of Afghanistan? You know, what's the story behind it? Um, so we, you know, we thought about it and said, well, you know, maybe people would be interested if we were to write the story down. Um, and I'd kept a sort of a diary going while I'd been in Afghanistan and uh, it just sort of happened from there. And we got a hold of a publisher, they liked the idea and that's where the books come from. So how can people support your wonderful charity? Um, they can buy a copy of the book because there's a large percentage of the book profits are actually going back into the charity. Um, they can go online, we have a website which is www.nazaddogs.co.uk um, and on there there's lots of ways they can help by sending us you stamps, making a donation or just telling their friends about us um, and spreading the word um, and hopefully we'll become a bigger charity. Well great, well thank you so much, it's such a wonderful story and it's wonderful to meet you. I've heard about the book, can't wait to read it. The dog reporter is going to pick up a copy now Fantastic. and hopefully get you to sign it. So uh, please support this wonderful charity. Thank you very much for interviewing us.